Hey there everyone, so I am back from Stone Harbor, New Jersey. For those of you who don't know, I went on a one week vacation. I left last Friday and I returned yesterday, which is Saturday. Um, it may be, I may upload this tomorrow, which is Monday, or I may upload it today, I'm not 100% sure yet. But, um, basically while I was down there, I spent time in the sun, on the beach, that was the majority of my time down there. I read books. The two I read was Enchanted by, I don't remember the author, but it's a biography of Audrey Hepburn. Um, Audrey Hepburn is my all-time favorite movie star. Um, I find her life was fantastic. She was gorgeous. She was beautiful. She was elegant. Um, my favorite movie in the world is Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love it. It's all, my all-time favorite. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Stone Harbor is on the Jersey Shore. Um, and basically, just all along the shore, there are all of these little tiny sort of ocean towns and beach towns and whatnot. Um, it's also, it's not the same little town that Jersey Shore takes place, but it's in the same sort of area. Um, the Jersey Shore, on average, goes from Atlantic City, which is, if I were to take a map, would be about here, to Sea Isle City, which is, sorry, Seaside Heights, which is slightly south of Atlantic City, which is there. There's Ocean City, which is about here. There is Avalon, which is a bit lower than Stone Harbor, and then out is um, Wildwood. So Stone Harbor is a little bit north of Wildwood, for those of you who don't who know where that is, and it's about a half hour drive south of Atlantic City. So based on the spread there, it's a good deal across. So. While I was in Stone Harbor, we the, our first day there, so the Sunday, because I don't count the Saturday as our first day, we got there late and had to unpack and go shopping. Um, our second day, we went to Atlantic City. Now, I'm 20, so I can't gamble. I can't do anything of that sort, but I don't really care. I'm not much of a gambler, although, because in Canada, I'm old enough to go to the casinos and gamble, but I don't like doing that. I've tried it once. I don't see the point of it. Half the time you're throwing your money away, you don't win much. It's not my cup of tea. Um, but we went out to Atlantic City because they have all sorts of, what are they called? Outlets. So it has a huge outlet mall, one of the Tanger or Tanger or however it's pronounced, outlet malls. So we went there, we went to H&M, we went to Gas, we went into Nine West, we went into all sorts of different stores. Um, within the outlet mall itself, I only bought stuff from um, H&M and Guess. So this is basically a haul for what I did throughout the entire vacation. I'm going to start with H&M because that's where I got my first set of stuff from. So what I got first was this sort of tunic dress from H&M. It's, it's very nautical themed. I'm gonna step up on my chair so you can see how high it goes. It's a pretty long shift, and I'll also show you the shape of it without the belt I'm wearing right now. So basically this is just like a very, very large t-shirt, very long, because if I were to wear it without this, you see that I have no shape whatsoever. So what I did was I bought this brown braided belt, just like that, and right at where my natural waist is, so the smallest part of my waist, I put the belt on, cinch it in very nicely, <sighs> having problems with this, tuck the belt through, and as you can see I have this nice long piece. So the first thing I do is I tie a little knot right there and I can leave it hanging but I'm not a big fan of that. So what I do is I just twist it around like that. And you can already see I have much more of a feminine shape and it looks really nice. 
Both of these I got in H&M. The dress I think was 35. The belt was I think 15. And then I also got this large sort of purse bag. Um, it's basically just one large pocket on the inside, as you can see, but it does have a zipper, so you can put stuff in your zipper, like pins and elastics. Then it has a cell phone and sort of lip gloss little pouch as well. Um, this was also from H&M, and I got this one, I think, for $40, so I got a pretty good deal. Also, for those of you who don't know, in New Jersey, the taxes is about 7%, but I found in the outlets it was something only around 2% for taxes. So I'm not 100% sure about how the tax system worked, but in total between my sister and myself, we spent with tax $125 and she got, um, I think she got this really pretty um, cardigan shirt kind of thing. So next, I went to Guess. I didn't spend much and I didn't buy much from there. There wasn't much that spiked my interest, but what I've been looking for lately is a really nice bandage skirt. So I bought this bandage skirt right here. It was $30 on sale and then I got 20%, it was 35 I think, and I got 25% off. So after taxes, I think it came to like $32 maybe, if that. So it has these little elastic bits on the side although it is all stretchy but this just provides a little bit more stretch and so it doesn't quite push you in in all the wrong spots it more moves and flatters to your own shape and it's just your traditional bandage skirt it looks nice with a very form-fitting top with more of a flouncy sort of top but you always want to make sure with this especially that you tuck whatever you're wearing into it so that's what I got in the outlet malls between that. Next we went into the into Caesars Palace. So in there, I didn't really buy much, but I went into Tiffany's my first time ever. <sighs> I'm in love, although I do own a necklace from Tiffany's that was bought by my parents when I graduated grade 12. They gave it to me as a gift and they had gone to New York and they bought me a little silver pendant from Tiffany's and I love it. It's the love of my life. I'm not wearing it right now, but I normally wear it on a regular basis. But we went in, I found a pair of sunglasses. If they weren't $200, I would have bought them. But I fell in love with them. They fit me perfectly. They were mine and they were gorgeous. They were black frames on the outside, but when you flip them inside, they had the Tiffany blue color on the inside. Oh, I love them. Um, we also went into Victoria's Secret, which is which was for my sister. She needed to get some new bras because she doesn't like the places that sell them up in Canada. She doesn't like the styles that they have. But while I was in there, I bought, they had a sort of like beauty promotion going on where you can buy four things, four beauty things from their Beauty Rush line for $20. Figured, you know what? It's a, it's a good deal. So I bought two lip glosses. This is the first one. This one is in Grape Escape. It's just a little doe foot brush, if I were to swatch it for you guys. It's quite sheer, and that's what that one looks like. The next one is Wonder Melon. Looks like that. It's a very nice sort of pinky color. The other one was more of a purple. And swatched, it's the one that's on the bottom. So it's that one right there. I really like this one and this this is my favorite out of the two or colors just based on the flavor. So the next two things that I got were blushes I and they were the Radiant Blushes. This one right here is in Fresh Love. It's sort of a coppery pinky color and it's more of a natural color. I have it on right now although you can't really tell. I'll put it on one of my cheeks. Hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference.
as you can tell, it just gives a nice sort of coppery but shimmery feel still. The next one is called Flutter. And this is a nice, almost hot pink color, as you can see. I'll show you what this one looks on the other cheek. This one you're going to be able to see more. As you can see, that one's much pinker. And out of the two, I like, for every day, I like this one better. But I figured out how to wear the hot pink one. So it doesn't look so much like you're a clown. Um, I just need to put something over top of pink to sort of tone it down a bit because I feel right now I look a bit like a clown. There we go, that's better. So that's what I got at Victoria's Secret. Um, it was pretty simple. It was $20 for all three, so I really like that. Next, I went to this one store. I don't really remember what it's called. It was on the second level at the very, very back, right above from where the fountain is. They have a water show in there. But I think it it's... I call it, called it the $10 store because everything in the store was $10. And I got this little clutch. It's a black and white snakeskin clutch with white pleather straps right here. And it has one of the turn and clasps, clasps like that. And then on the inside, you have a just regular chain strap. So you can either wear it where you're over your shoulder, in your arm like that. Or the way I like to wear it is you take the chain and you put it just out one side. And this way you can hold it over your wrist and you can still carry it and hold it in your arm. Or even if you want, you can carry it just like that and you still have your hands available to do whatever you want. So this is a really good buy, $10, with tax $10.70. Next, we went to TJ Maxx. This was just outside of Stone Harbor, I think Cape May, not even. Like, we just crossed the bridge and we were doing our groceries and stuff and we saw TJ Maxx, so we decided we wanted to go in. For those of you, from Canada. TJ Maxx is a lot like Winners, but I like it a lot better than Winners. You can find things much easier and it's better organized, just my opinion. So the first thing I got was this DKNY navy blue where's the top? Navy blue and white sweater. I got this for $40. And when we were in the Donut or the DKNY store, this, I think, this same style, I think was $60 or $70. So I got a really good price on it. The next thing I got were these flats from Blowfish. I still haven't taken the size tags out, as you can see. I tried, but it's harder. So they're just these little flats in brown, and they've got this gorgeous little design right there. These were originally I think 30 when I found them they were marked down to I th if I seven dollars these seven dollars if I were to get them back at home in Canada they probably would have cost me about fifty dollars so this was a steal I love these they're great I can't wait to wear them lastly what I got oops that fell <laughs> was these. I've been looking for a pair of nude pumps, although I still need to find a pair of patent leather pumps that I can wear into the winter, just because I'm not a big fan of wearing suede all the time in the winter because they can get wet and ruined. But this will be perfect for the fall and the spring. It's this pair, these wedges from BCBG genera or BCB Generation BCBG, and they fit me like a glove. Well, not quite. I need a little bit of something in the heels, just so my foot doesn't slip out of them. I've worn them once, and I found that was the problem. But at $30, I couldn't say no. They are amazing. I love them. They're comfortable. They're easy to walk in. I love them. They're a little peep toe. And they're going to work with so much. I can't wait to wear them. Um, this video is getting pretty long already. Um, I don't think I'll be able to upload it much longer. So, bye. Talk to you later.